Jonathan Neal, and welcome to the Moon Project. We here at the Moon Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to uh, information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I spoke in a previous video about uh, grief and mourning and how this should not lead to, uh, uh, to despair and how you should not permit despair to take a hold of yourself. And I also mentioned, uh, made mention to um, Tishabov and Days of Mourning. And um, I'm reminded of the story of um, uh, Rav Naftali of Ropshitz. Uh, this Rebbe, uh, it's told that during the uh, three weeks prior to uh, uh, Tisha B'Av, from, uh, from the 17th of uh, Tammuz to the 9th of Av to Tisha B'Av, uh, Rebbe Naftali would repeatedly sing a certain tune, a certain nigun, a melody, to the words of the prayer, and you will restore the kohanim, the priest, to their service, the levi'im, the Levites, to their chant, to their chants, and Israel, Jewish people, to its place of beauty. Now, this was a rather cheery melody. It's, it seems to be in conflict with the with the pleading and the begging uh, and the and the mourning and the, and the, and the supplicating and it seemed out of context, this little joyful melody. Um, Rav, Rav Naftali um, would not allow himself to be overcome by grief, even during the three weeks, even up to Tisha B'Av. Mourning, yes, but not overcome by grief. And he did not let despair take a hold of him. He always had hope. And one of the ways he reflected this was this uh, cheerful melody, this nigun, nigun, um, this melody. Um, it reminded him that even in the depths, we cry out uh, to God, and he hears us. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.